Sunday go down with kidney, lungs infection, illness in Bene prison, needs urgent medical attention. I mean, I understand because Chief Sunday Boho, you know, he, he sustained a lot of injury um, that July 1st when, you know, invaders invaded in his home. You know, when they came to his home and they carried out that wicked atrocity and whatever they did, Sunday Boho was, you know, was injured badly like what we heard. And he was not running. He was actually going to one of the places where he can get good medical attention. Because as we all know, there are no good medical attention in this country. So he was actually traveling out to Germany with his wife for good medical attention when he was apprehended at Cotonou. And like they say, the rest is history. But currently speaking, as we talk now, Sivsonde Igboho is, is, is not feeling well. He's got, um, he's down with kidney Lungs illness in Bene prison and he urgently needs medical attention. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. One of Sunday Boho's lawyers, Aliyu, says Sunday Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday Boho, has again pleaded with the government of Bene Republic to immediately release the activist for urgent medical attention overseas. In an interview with BBC Yoruba, Aliyu said Bene government needed to allow the activists to seek medical attention due to ill health. Aliyu added that the sickness troubling Igboho was not of little measure and needed both prayers and medical attention. According to the lawyer, the sickness started when the Department of State Security Service DSS invaded his home in circle area of Ibadan, or your state. He said Igboho was not diagnosed with this sickness before he was arrested in Kotono. It was so serious that they had to rush him to the hospital. I can't tell if he had been if he had returned to the prison from the hospital. But what I know is that he is battling ill health and it seems like kidney and lungs are already being affected without being treated properly. Aliyu said the sickness started after the operative of the Department of State Security Services invaded Igboho's home and why the activist was trying to escape the raid, he got serious, sustained serious injury. Meanwhile, Igboho's lawyer in Benin Republic, Ibrahim Salami, confirmed Igboho got injured during the DSS raid. Salami said Sunday Igboho is not sick. However, he got injured during the DSS raid on his house on July the 1st, 2021. Since then, he has not been able to have good medical attention. His health has since deteriorated and that was why he asked that he should be taken overseas for medical checkup. Recall that Olayo Mikoiki, Igboho spokesman, said his principal was in urgent need of medical attention. A statement by Koiki titled, On behalf of Chief Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Igboho, call on the government of Benin Republic to urgently grant Sunday Igboho permission to receive medical attention. Igboho was arrested alongside his wife in Kotono in Benin Republic by security operative in the West African country on July the 19th after fleeing Nigeria and the secret police who were trying to arrest him. DSS had declared Igbo who wanted after the operative carried out a bloody raid on his residence in Ibadan, killing two people and arresting 12 of his aides while Igbo was able to escape. DSS public relations officer Peter had advised Igbo who to turn himself in. However, Igboho's wife has since been released from police custody, but Igboho remains in custody and is not feeling too well now. So this is the serious, urgent medical attention question matter reaching us. Sunday Igboho needs, needed to be treated with great urgency and this matter should not be toyed with or taken with a pinch of salt. It's happening and is a clear indication that Chief Sunday Igboho truly and really needs urgent medical attention. A lot has happened, you know, Sunday has gone through a lot and uh, what is this crime? 
His crime is standing for others. His crime is standing and saying people should not, you know, uh, other people should not suffer. And um, those who they've given attention should not be the one, you know, to, 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 to you've given somebody hospitality should not be the one to detect the pace or begin to call the shots. We all must rise up to the occasion and we all must say no to the spirit of oppression currently going on. Chief Sunday Boho, you know, stood for the people. And since then, the government of Nigeria has been fighting him on left, right and center. And it's not it's not right. It's not right. It's not nice. It should never be done. You know, so these are some of the things ongoing. These are some of the things happening. Uh, Chief Sunday Boho needs urgent medical attention. And we should not take it with levity or just take sick and just, you know, take it with a pinch of salt. You know, Chief Sunday Boho seriously and urgently needs this. You know, and so everybody must rise up for him because he's that person who will not, you know, uh, uh, abandon people. He will speak up for them. He will stand for them. He will do what he was, what's, what was the right thing to ensure that people are safe. He will do whatever he needs to do to ensure that people, you know, uh, you know, have a sense of belonging. Anyway, this is what is going on with Chief, Chief Sunday Boho. And it, it saddens my heart. You can see that uh, because I know I know this man, first of all, does not even have to be here. OK, he, he can as well. I mean, see what is happening in Ibadan. After all, he's not a governor. He's not a local government chairman. Um, if the governor cannot deal with the Fulanese who are making the place unbearable for the people, then, then so be it. But guess what? He did not turn a blind eye. He can take a next flight and be out of Nigeria go to join his wife and family in Germany because, I mean, he's legally married to his wife, you know, so he had, I mean, if you understand how the laws of those countries operate, where you're married, is to get that ticket, you know, whatever they give, whatever applies to the wife, they give to the husband. And so he could have as well gone, but he didn't. So please, uh, my people, I will just beg that you pray for Chief Sunday, but let's all pray together. Let's all wish him well, you know, and give our best you know, in this time of support, he greatly needs it. Trust me, he does. His birthday was in this very, for this whole struggle. So if the least we can do is to pray for him, I think it goes a long way. Okay, so leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.